Dear League of Legends, I hate you. You stole four years from me. You made me hate my life. You made me depressed. You made me feel like a failure and even put me in a mental institution. You thought you won, but now I'm back and I'm going to expose your deepest, darkest secret that will sabotage your entire entity. The secret is this. The devil is real and operates through League of Legends. I am here to prove this through my art and enlighten the world to a fact that is prevalent. He runs. Take a look. Hey, what's going on, guys? First off, this picture you were looking at was not photoshopped. This is the original picture that I took on my phone. I was taking a picture of my laptop screen of this little demonoid and somehow this happened. It's one of the many demons I've captured and drawn, so stay tuned to see it. But anyways, I just created this YouTube channel. This is the introduction to the channel, which will feature a few different subjects. If you didn't know yet, I'm an artist and most of my art portrays my own personal hell that I have endured. But enough about me. This channel will mostly revolve around featuring abstract, demonic, and satanic screenshots that I capture in League of Legends, then draw and paint for the average eye to see more clearly. People, it's time to take the red pill and jump down the rabbit hole, because the shit's about to get real. I did about 10 to 15 pieces at first, then was sucked back into being addicted to League, pulling me away from my art for some time. To be honest, I kind of forgot about the whole Satanic League of Legends thing, but about a year later I stumbled upon an image that was just mind-boggling. At that point I promised myself that I would put my sweat, blood, tears, and soul into revealing the devil in League of Legends and revealing it to the world. I put no less than 110% effort into every last line and brushstroke. I stumbled upon this blasphemy accidentally, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I'll give you a brief history of my League of Legends experience. Side note, I'll be speaking as if the viewer is familiar with the game. I started playing in Season 3 right when Zed came out. That was about 4-ish years ago. I became obsessed with the game. I would play it 10-14 to 14 hours a day. It completely consumed my life. I would stay up until 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning playing. But the kicker is that I was always horrible at the game. I was stuck in bronze, which is the lowest rank, for years and had this obsession of gaining high rank and being a top tier player. However, you can't fight the devil with fire and hell. What I mean is, if you don't conform to Satan in the game, the demons put the odds against you and make it impossible to win or gain rank. In addition to that, my internet connection would disconnect every four hours while I was in the middle of a game, then my laptop started shutting down randomly, and anything you could imagine that would prevent me from being able to gain rank was against me. I must have made 10 accounts because my accounts kept getting banned because players would report me for AFK, which means away from keyboard, and it was just this revolving cycle of shittiness and frustration all for nothing. Losing and losing started to weigh on my psych. I started to view myself as useless and a complete failure because I put my sweat, blood, and tears into the game and failed day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year. In turn, being amongst noobs, which means new players, for three years weighed on me and I adopted noob habits and bad strategy and mechanics. I could have finished my college degree in the amount of time I put into League, but I had this burning passion that drove me to try and be great at the game. So after some time, I realized what a toll League had taken on my life. I had no girlfriend, no job, not in school, no friends, no life, no money, and I was depressed and miserable. It got to the point where League literally put me in a mental hospital. If you're still listening to this, you probably think I need more meds because I'm out of my mind. I thought this too at a point, but please, just watch my videos and I promise you'll see the deep dark secrets that League of Legends had to hide. Lastly, I beg of anyone who watches this to please share my videos. I am not in this for selfish purposes. My goal is not to make money off this, not to get rich and famous, uh, but to expose the truth to millions and millions of League players. I will tell you, the goal of a satanic League of Legends is to steal the youth and lives of as many poor souls as possible. There are millions of teens and young adults who have suffered the same fate as me, and these people might have become doctors, lawyers, etc., but instead, they are clicking buttons for a living or lack of it. I'm glad I escaped the addictive gamer lifestyle, and I want to save as many people from falling down the slippery demonic hole of League of Legends like I did. That is the reason I pray that you share this video and tell others to share. Now I casually play the game for the sake of surveillance. Although I rarely capture satanic images in my games, 
Uh, not only do I capture most images in professional play, but I have concluded that, that the pro players are demons themselves, which I will expand on later. I have hundreds of demonic screenshots and about 35 plus satanic League of Legends art pieces that I have finished. I am here to inform and enlighten people to the truth of League of Legends. It is fueled by Satan and his demons, and Satan and League together are destroying as many lives as possible. Don't be a victim like I was. Take a look for yourself.